Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is the features that my team is currently developing. Um, we're going to be launching a whole lot of new features uh, early 2019, and uh, I want to give you kind of a taste of, of, of these features. Uh, we think they're really powerful new features, and, uh, and we're really excited about them. So um, we've kind of reimagined, completely reimagined our whole dashboard screen. Um, so you still see the, uh, the alerts and the faults, um, but um, we've added a whole bunch of new capability. So when you connect to the appliance, uh, the app extracts the model number and serial number from the appliance, and it does a lookup in our uh, document databases, and it finds documents, um, service bulletins, service manuals, mini manuals, that are pertinent and apply to this particular appliance that you are interfacing with. So, um, so I'm going to click here uh, on one of these uh, recent bulletins. So let's click on this. This one is related to a French door Keurig. So you can see um, this bulletin uh, gives information about uh, a particular issue that we're having uh, with the Keurig system. Uh, and gives information about how to resolve uh, that issue. So um, all the uh, critical issues that we know are going on out in the field, we make them available at your fingertips uh, so that uh, you're always aware of, of uh, any issues that, that we know of. Uh, we make sure that you are aware of them. Service manuals. So uh, you just click on service manual and it will download uh, the service manual. You can view it on your iPad or iPhone. Very easy access. This is obviously the service manual for this particular appliance. No more searching on the service website or any of those uh, challenges. You have the documents you need. Mini manual. Same thing. Just click on it. You got your mini manual, all the information at your fingertips. So, so those are the, the uh, key features on the uh, dashboard screen. Uh, I'm going to go to the next page. Uh, there's, there are additional items uh, on that dashboard screen, but uh, I'm not going to go through every single detail. Uh, this next menu uh, screen uh, also has been reimagined. The top half of it will be familiar to you. Uh, the Bluetooth diagnostics section will be familiar to you from the current product. Um, so the new features that we've added are under what we call miscellaneous features. Uh, these features mostly, like I said, uh, apply to document access. So they're related to document access. Um, once again, accessing bulletins, service manuals, uh, exploded drawings, uh, all those kinds of, of uh, documentation that help you solve problems out in the field. Um, one of the key differences between the current solution and what we're launching in 2019 is that the current solution is tethered to this Bluetooth module. You really can't do anything without this Bluetooth module. With the new version, because we're adding all these uh, document access and cloud-based uh, features, there's actually a lot that you can do without this Bluetooth module. So I'm going to unplug this Bluetooth module. The system will detect that the Bluetooth module has been un unplugged. And in a minute, uh, I will get a pop-up. And what will happen is that the system will transition to what we call the independent mode, or the non-blue uh, non bean mode. So uh, I'm going to press dismiss. The app is going to give me a screen that says, do I want to enter non-Bluetooth mode? I go to non-Bluetooth mode. So I'm going to enter uh, a model number. So now I can enter any model number I want. It doesn't, no longer has to be tethered to this, to this appliance. So I type in 
GT3. And I, so, so this is a, a washer, a, a top load washer. Okay. Now, so this is the independent uh, uh, mode. So this is the independent uh, mode, independent of the Bluetooth module. And uh, so what you can see, there's, this is the dashboard screen. Um, and you can see that there are a, a few parameters that are missing because we are not directly communicating with any appliance. So we don't have alerts and we don't have faults. But we do have, once again, access to bulletins. Um, so I can click on this and I can see a, a, a service bulletin for, for this uh, washer. Uh, the service manual is there, mini manuals are there. Okay. I'm going to show you some uh, additional features. So these features exist uh, both in independent mode and in the Bluetooth mode. And I, I'm going to show you some of these features. So uh, I'll start with uh, one parts. So this is a, a system that allows viewing of exploded drawings. So uh, you can see here, uh, I can see very detailed drawings of the uh, uh, parts of the appliance. I can select parts in a list here and add them to what we call a pick list. I can go to the pick list and I can email this pick list. Usually uh, technicians will want to email it to their home office, uh, their administrator uh, in, in the back office. Um, but uh, you can very easily generate this list of parts, generate an email, and send it to whatever email address you choose to. So that's one parts. Um, very, very popular uh, tool, very uh, a powerful capability. Uh, I'm going to go to another section uh, called Diagnostic Documents. So uh, this uh, has some, some functionality that, uh, that can be very, very, very powerful. Um, so fault codes, uh, so this is where you're in a situation where you don't have the Bluetooth module with you, um, but you want to understand the fault codes in the appliance. So if you have the Bluetooth module with you, the Bluetooth module will automatically extract the fault codes and send them to the appliance, I mean to the, to the app. But uh, in the case where you don't want to use your, your uh, Bluetooth module for whatever reason, you can click on this fault codes. It shows you the user interface of the appliance and uh, it gives you instructions for how to get into service mode um, so that you can view the fault codes uh, of the appliance on the user interface, uh, the fault codes in the appliance on the user interface of the appliance. You can then uh, view uh, resolutions methods or ways to fix this particular fault code um, by clicking on that fault code on the screen of the application. Uh, we have something called service information library. Once again, this has a list of all the possible documents that you might want to access to be able to resolve problems with a particular appliance that you are interacting with. Um, one of the key features that I want to show you is the ability to access training videos. So at the bottom of the screen here, there is a video. So I can select uh, a particular video that I want to see. So let me uh, select wa um, wash basket uh, removal. So here you have a training video directly related to the particular appliance that you are uh, interested in, in, in knowing about. Uh, and you can watch a video about how to resolve uh, various problems uh, on the appliance. You also have access to direct access to our service website. So this is the GE service website. So you can just simply click on service website 
And this is a mobile-friendly version of our GE service website. So uh, access to all the possible information, all the possible documents, all the possible notifications uh, that you might be uh, interested in uh, working with. So here, uh, I just downloaded a, a service bulletin from our service website. Uh, you will notice that it auto-populates uh, the service website with the model number that you, are, you have chosen to work with. So it does an automatic search on our service website with a particular model number that you are interested in, in, in working with. So no more typing you know, long model numbers. Um, it will auto-populate that for you. So those are the key capabilities. Um, there are other capabilities that we are currently developing, but uh, I'm not ready to demo those yet. Um, so we will talk about those in a subsequent video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.